speaking of Donald Trump and his most recent indictment on charges related to his attempts to overthrow our democratic process and allegedly unlawfully install himself president of the United States uh, despite losing election and in so doing disenfranchise millions of voters in the country he is now responding and i'll show you both his threat here and also some fox news pundits response and their threats about what trump will do now that he's been so wronged if he got a position of power watch out because we're going to get you back and this is dangerous language because it's using a false story a false narrative about what they believe is happening to trump to justify actually uh, unjustifiably targeting people. So because he's lying about him being targeted unfairly, he's going to actually, if he were to become president again, unfairly target people. So here's us on True Social, then we'll look at some other individuals on Fox News. Look, it's not my fault, Trump says. Yeah, that's always, that's always your belief. That my political opponent in the Democratic Party, crooked Joe Biden, has told his attorney general to charge the leading but uh, by far Republican nominee and former president of the United States, me, with as many crimes as can be concocted so that he is forced to spend large amounts of time and money to defend himself. The Dems don't want to run against me or they would be uh, or they would not be doing this unprecedented weaponization of justice, justice in quotes and capitalized for some reason. But soon in 2024, it will be our turn, MAGA. Now, if you don't exactly know what that means our turn i'll show you the fox news explanation for what does this mean what does our turn mean what comes next if trump is able to win in 2024 as he's alluding to there take a look now not wanting to leave politics apparently is the basis for a federal crime are you, you false who is saying that? Did you read the indictment, Laura? Listening to these people? Has anyone, by the way, told Nancy Pelosi and Dick Durbin about this? The bottom line is this. Trump was charged with two counts of conspiracy and two counts of obstruction of an official proceeding for adopting and pressing an unconventional and controversial legal view that the electors in this presidential race could be replaced with new electors. Well, the indictment, according to that analysis, is a complete sham. If this is how low the bar is set going forward, then Smith and Garland and every prosecutor who pushed this fraud of a case should all expect to face similar treatment to what they're putting Trump through. So putting Trump through, she means in her mind, unfairly targeting him, prosecuting him for things he didn't do in terms of them being crimes in her mind. Uh, and so now she's saying they will do that. Trump, I guess, or the attorney general that he appoints will do that to Jack Smith and Merrick Garland and whoever else. And we've also heard at Trump rallies many times now that Trump will do what he can to make sure that the Biden crime family is locked up and the crowd will chant, lock him up, even though they say, as we'll get to later in today's show, that it's the left who wants to just lock up their political opponents. Interesting. And then here's more of this, this time from Jesse Waters. If Trump wins after he pardons himself, welcome to the revenge tour. Oh, he'll be out for blood. You think he's going to let bygones be bygones? He's going to put his men at justice and the Clintons, Obamas, the Pelosi's, the Schiff's, and yeah, of course, the Bidens. Everyone will be legally assaulted. Their family members, their foundations, their businesses. Everything's fair game after this. Trump won't care about re-election because he's only serving one term. Think about how dangerous this language is. Biden's creating a one-man wrecking crew with a list a mile long. A lot of people are going to get fired in Washington and the rules are going to change. Scream and holler all you want, but if you're going to try to make a 78-year-old former president die in prison away from his friends and family, hit him with 78 charges after spying on him and impeaching him twice, oh, you better believe it's open season. If so again, by lying about what is happening, they will attempt to justify doing the things that they're saying is happening now, but isn't, then they'll actually do those things to other people, meaning they'll actually target people just because of their political views and try to, I guess, prosecute them by getting a super pro-Trump attorney general who's not willing to abide by the law and instead is just targeting Trump's political opponents. And that's what's being advocated for. And this is the danger of lies. This is the danger of your entire 
political mission just being it doesn't the the truth doesn't matter the outcome the mission the political advantage matters that's it and this is where that gets you where now you have hosts telling their viewers that trump is being victimized in all these ways that he's just not he's just having the law the law i should say applied to him as we should have yes even with a presidential candidate and former president if you break the law and there's evidence for that then you should be prosecuted for it and you should have your day in court and due process and all of it but yes that's how this system this justice system in this country should work and so it's actually hopeful we should get hope from the fact that even someone as powerful influential well connected as trump is being held accountable or at least attempting um you know they're attempting to hold him accountable for these what seem to be clear violations of the law but we'll see how it plays out in court and for people who within the conservative movement at least used to pretend to care about the constitution and the rule of law to turn around and want to ignore what could have been a very significant unlawful unconstitutional attempt by the sitting president of the united states to disenfranchise voters to throw out the legitimate electors and say we're going to have our own fraudulently fraudulent forms fraudulent individuals the state didn't actually send these ones from biden one state and then just keep trump president or have mike pence refuse to do his ceremonial role of certifying the election and keep trump president or pressure election officials to find votes that aren't real votes and then keep Trump president. That would have been disastrous. And there are laws on the books that seem to indicate you can't exactly do that, Donald. And so for them to see all of that and still be talking like this, willing to undermine our democratic process and our rule of law as they're doing is pretty stunning. We deal with it every day, so it becomes normal, but it, it's not normal whatsoever. And uh, even though it can be really enraging, at least seeing the potential of accountability despite all the lies gives me some hope. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership, and there's a link in the description.